Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Scrap to Cast. Today we're going to continue with my Coin Roll Hunting Penny series with episode number 10. If you happen to see my last episode, it was a pretty epic box. And I'm happy to report that this box here, I got the same day at the same bank. So hopefully this box will be just as good as the last episode. Let me go ahead and set the camera up and we'll go ahead and get that box torn open. Okay, let's go ahead and tear this right open. I think I'm going to have problems with this one, so I'm probably going to need my knife. Oh, not terrible. So let's go ahead and get this open. Well, that's a lot easier. I think I'm going to use that knife from now on. All right. Nice clean swipe, too. Let's see if we got any wheat scent enders here, which I'm really not seeing any off the top here. This one might be one. I really can't tell, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is what's inside the rolls. So pretty much, like I've said in previous videos, we're going to go ahead and open each roll off camera. If we find something good, we'll stick it under the scope here, and then you'll be able to see it on the screen here. We're going for copper scents, which we'll put in this bowl. All the zinc scents that I'll be returning to my dump bank will go in this bin here. And uh, we're looking for wheat scents, Indian head scents, Canadian scents, and any other foreign coins that we could find. So we'll go ahead and start off with roll number one. And if I find something, I'll bring you back. Roll number two. Wheat scent number one. Reverse facing. Is 1947 Philadelphia. Same roll. Wheat scent number two. Obverse facing. I think this is from the 40s too. And it is. 1944 Philadelphia. Roll number four. Wheat scent number three. Reverse facing. Let's see what we got. Is in 1941 Philadelphia. Roll number seven. Wheat scent number four. Looks pretty worn. Let's see what we got. And it's pretty corroded. That's a 1952. Looks like a D mint mark. Yeah, I think that's a D mint mark. So, not too bad. Even though it's corroded, still got four wheat scents out of seven rolls. Well, we're on roll number eight, and I just got my first Canadian scent, so I figured I'd just put it under the scope and show you guys what it is. That's a 1976. First Canadian on the board. Hopefully we get some more wheat scents. Roll number nine. Wheat scent number five. Is a 1949 Philadelphia. Roll number ten. Wheat scent number six. I'm going to say, we're doing pretty good on this box so far. Hopefully, I don't jinx myself. And wheat scent number six is a 1941 Philadelphia. Same roll. Wheat scent number seven, obverse facing. I believe it's another 40s. And it is 1945 Philadelphia. Well, we're on roll number 12. And I said earlier that I thought this might be a wheat scent ender. I see it's a 1950-something. So we're going to go ahead and open it live and see exactly what it is. So let me go ahead and get the camera set up real quickly. Okay, let's go ahead and crack open roll number 11. Hopefully I can get this. Eh, not too bad. My fingernails just don't want to work today. So let's see, it should be at the very bottom where my thumb is. There we go. And it is a wheat scent, so let's go ahead and put it under the scope. Let me get my camera right back here. Yep, definitely a wheat scent. And it's a 1952 Denver with a little bit of damage on the five. I gotta say, we're doing pretty good. 11 rolls in, we've already got eight wheat scents. That's actually really good for me. Hopefully we'll find some more in this roll, and if not, we'll find more in this box. Roll 15, wheat scent number nine. Reverse facing. Looks like it's got some wear on it, and it has some damage right there. Hopefully, it's a pre-1940s. So, let's see what we got here. And it is 1939 Philadelphia. Not sure if we need that one for the album or not, but you know what, though? I'll take a pre-1940s wheat scent any day of the week. Roll 16. Wheat scent number 10. Finally, double digits. We're way ahead of the game, and we ended up with a 1956 Philadelphia. Well, we're on roll number 17, and it's got a couple finds in it. The first one is the wheat scent that's right here in front of me, which ended up being 1945 Philadelphia. And then we go over here and we see a Canadian scent. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this under the scope. 
And this is a 1978. And then we've got another Canadian scent right over here. Pull that one out, if we can get that one out. And that one is 1975. So we had three finds in that roll so far. And I also wanted to mention this 1981 scent that I have. You can see the rim over here on this side, on the right-hand side. It's a lot wider than it is on the left over here, and they call that an off-center strike. Um, really not worth anything in this condition. Um, the off-center strike is really not more than probably 10%. Um, you want to get like 30 40% where they're actually worth something, but I'll just save this because it's a copper scent. But anyways, we'll finish searching this roll here. If we find anything else, we'll bring you back. Well, we're on roll number 20. Second coin in is a wheat scent. So let's see what we got here. Uh, 1946 Philadelphia for wheat scent number 12. Hopefully we'll see some more in this roll. This roll is pretty heavy on the copper because I weighed it in advance on the scale. So if we don't find another wheat scent, we'll go ahead and continue on with the hunt. Same roll. Lucky wheat scent number 13. Ooh, and that's an estimate mark. 1949 San Francisco. I'm pretty sure I need that one for the album. That's awesome. Well, that 13th wheat scent was definitely lucky. Roll 21. Wheat scent number 14. And this one's from the 50s. It's a 1957 Denver. Roll 24. Wheat scent number 15. Is a 1953 Philadelphia. This is great. We got 15 wheat scents and we're not even halfway done through the box. Hopefully, we're going to get more wheat scents on this side as well. Well, we're on roll number 32 and I just spotted two wheat scents just a few cents away from each other. So the first one is a 1953 Denver, wheat scent number 16, and then wheat scent number 17, which is also reverse facing. That is a early date one, 1936 Philadelphia. I can't remember if we already have that one in the album or not, but that's my second one from the 30s. That makes me really happy. We're still on roll 32, and I just found my third wheat scent in this roll alone, 18th wheat scent, which is a 1955 Denver. What a great roll. Roll 37, wheat scent number 19. It was the second coin in on the roll. And it's a 1940 Philadelphia. Well, we're on roll number 39. I just found wheat scent number 20. And I just want to show you this real quick. 1953 Denver. But that's not the real reason I bring you in. As you guys know, I saved the 1972 cents and check them under the scope for the DDO varieties. Well, I pulled this one from this roll and the date looked kind of funny to me. So when I put it under the scope, I don't know if you can see it really well or not but that's definitely got some doubling at the bottom of the number two and in the number seven so i think i found one of the ddo varieties but i haven't had a chance to research it yet anyways we'll research this further at the end of the hunt and then hopefully i have a good solid id as to which one it is we're still on roll 39 and i just spotted wheat scent number 21 and wheat scent number 22. So there was three in this roll as well. And I think there might even be one right here as well. Nope, it's a last year, 59 Denver. But let's see what wheat scent number 21 is. That's a 1946 Philadelphia. And wheat scent number 22 is a 56, I think. Yes, a 1956 Philadelphia. So we're killing it. 22 wheat scents, and we still have 11 rolls left. That is an awesome hunt. Anyways, I'll bring it back when I find the next one. Roll 41. Wheat scent number 23 is a 1956 Philadelphia. Well, we're on roll number 43. I don't have any more wheat scents, but I found my first non-Canadian scent foreign coin, and it's a two euro scent with a date of year 2000. So that's pretty cool. And it says España. So that must be issued in Spain. Anyways, nice to see a foreign coin other than a Canadian. If we find any more wheat scents, we'll bring you back. 
We're on roll number 44, and I just found an older Canadian set. Now, this one is the younger Queen Elizabeth. They call it the Laurier portrait. They tend to be from the early 60s on back, and this one is a 1962. So that's nice to see. We'll go ahead and put that there with the rest of them. And that's the oldest Canadian that we found so far. Roll 47. Wheat scent number 24 is a 1955 Philadelphia, and no, it is not the DDO variety. And while I have you here, I know there's an older Canadian scent, or I think it might be older. It is. Another Laurier portrait, and let's see what date this one is. If I could get it to flip over. 1962, just like the last one. So we got two from that year. This box is absolutely awesome. I was just hunting through roll number 48. I found this wheat scent, and then I noticed there's another one behind here. So this makes wheat scent number 25, which is a 1950 San Francisco. I actually might need that for the album. So, so far, 1% of the coins in this box have been wheat scents. And we still have number 26 right here. So let's go ahead and see what this one is. And that was just a 1946 Philadelphia. But I'll take it. What a fantastic box. Roll 49. Wheat scent number 27. And that's 10 wheat cents more than my last episode. And this one is a 1956 Philadelphia in pretty beat up condition on the backside. Anyways, 27 wheat cents. That makes me really happy. Okay, everyone, this box has been completely hunted through, and I gotta say, this has been the best box that I've ever hunted on this channel since I started this series. We ended up with 27 wheat cents, 8 Canadian cents, the 2 cent euro coin, a couple of really nice red cents, a 1972 that I think might be a DDO, but it's not listed on Variety Vista, so it either is machine doubling or it's an unknown variety at this point. A bunch of 72s I'm going to check for the DDO varieties as well. A bunch of 82s that I'm going to weigh on the scale. I'll put the copper ones in the copper bowl and the zinc ones inside the zinc bin. So let me go through these coins here really quickly and then we'll bring it back for another recap as to what we're going to show under the scope. All right, everyone, I went through all the finds. All the 82 copper cents are in the bowl. The zinc ones are inside the bin. I checked all the other 72s. There were no other DDO varieties. I got everything sorted out. I got the 262 Canadians, followed by 68, 75, 76, 78, 79, 81. And then we got this 2 euro cent coin. Anyways, I've showed you all these Canadian cents under the scope already, as well as that 2 euro cent. Um, here's all the wheat cents. We'll start off with the oldest one, which was 1936. Not in relatively bad shape. And then we had 1939. This one's a little worn, especially over there by Liberty. You can't even see the first three letters, but that's the 39. The rest were all 40s and 50s. Got a 49S and a 50S. So we'll show you those real quick, just because you don't really find too many S Mint Mart wheat scents in my neck of the woods. So that's the 49S, not in bad shape. And I think I might need that one for the album. And here's the 50S. This one's a little worse, but nice strong bent mark. Pretty nice strike. And then the rest of the late 50s. Here's all the red scents. This one's a 1968, and this one's in really nice condition. I really believe this is going to be an upgrade to the one that I have in my album. So that's a really nice example right there. Looks like there might even be some doubling on the nine and the six but I could just be seeing things a little bit of damage on the W and then the next nicest red scent was a 1972 this one's in really sharp condition and I think I need this one for the album as well this is not a DDO variety although I am looking at the top of the T right there and it looks like there might be a little bit of doubling but anyways that was another nice one. And then we got a nice 1974 red scent. I'll have to check this one against the album because I think I already have this one in there. 
that's a nice example. And then I got a 2003. I don't even know why I'm showing it, but you don't really find too many nice ones with very minimal spotting on them. And the reverse is what caught my attention. Really nice shape. You can see a lot of the steps right there, too. So I know I need that one for the album. And then the one that I really want to show you is this 1972, which I believe is a DDO. Check the two and the seven at the bottom. You can see a horizontal line going all the way. That two is definitely doubled, and so is that seven. But there is not a variety in there where it's doubled like that. Usually the doubling is on the top side of the two and not at the bottom. So this might actually be an unknown. I don't see any more doubling in In God We Trust, and I don't see any in Liberty. But I really believe that is a DDO variety, and it might be an unknown one. So we're going to set that one aside. We'll flip that one up. Anyways, let me go ahead and check the album. We'll see what we're going to add and what we're going to upgrade. And uh, I'll write everything out on the list, and we'll bring it back. Okay, everyone, I went through all the wheat scents and the other finds. I'm happy to report that we had six editions and one upgrade. As far as the editions, we have 1939, 47, 49 San Francisco, 72, 74, and 2003. And the one upgrade we did was 1968. So let me get that page out of the way, and we'll go ahead and show you the coins that we put in the album. Get to page three here. So there's the 1939. Not too bad looking, but it's got a scuff on the back side here. So hopefully we'll upgrade that in the near future. The next one was 1947, which we have right here. And then 1949S is right here. 1972, which is on the next page. 1974. And then we upgraded 1968. That's a really nice coin. I really like that coin. And then the last one that we added was 2003. So all in all, what an awesome hunt. That was awesome. And here's all the wheat scents that I'm going to put inside my little jewelry box right here. All right, so we got the jewelry box. Let's go ahead and add all these wheat scents. Hopefully I don't spill them on the floor. That's a fine pile of wheat scents. I also wanted to mention that we got 3 pounds, 11.8 ounces of copper scents, which equates to 1.695 kilos. So we'll go ahead and dump these in the copper bucket. So there's the copper bucket. And there's three and three quarter pounds to add to it. So this concludes episode 10 of my Coin Roll Hunting Penny series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new to the channel, this is your first time coming to my channel and seeing this series, and you want to see the series from the very beginning, starting with episode number one, I do have a link posted in the description to that playlist. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the growth of this channel. And if you really like it, then do consider hitting that subscribe button, and please be sure to turn on notifications. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Happy hunting.